I see, shut I see. Yeah. Let go. Hey. On to the next topic, man. This is the topic we've been waiting for. I know y'all been waiting for this. <laughs> Now, my man, Professor Nair, you better yeah. get this work on some Lord of Lux work. Got that PhD now, in <laughs> pugilism. Errol Spence versus Sean Porter pay-per-view yeah. numbers. They mm. saying is it is doing better than Mikey Garcia versus Errol really? Spence. I, I didn't read that. Um, I, I had to. I'll I had send to you. I sent you. I sent you the uh, picture. It said doing better. Or? Yeah, it's three. It's three hundred fifty thousand. Apparently, that's uh, the same thing that Mikey did. Yeah, the, but they still added. Like they still. Uh, they still counting. Counting, yeah. So they already up there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that being said, now he fought Sean Porter, Errol Spence. There's no yeah. Mexican fighter. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And he outdid the Mikey Garcia fight. Now, this is proof my case. Well, I, 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 hold on, we, hold on. Let we, me don't, speak. we don't know that. Let, we let don't me, know that. Let me okay. speak my piece. We Go do ahead. know it's 350,000. So that's already topping Mikey Garcia. They already confirmed that it's already I topping. I thought Mikey Garcia, Mikey Garcia did 350,000 with Errol Spence. Well, they saying it's top and that. Okay. So, anyways, that that's as far as the fact that co-signed what I was saying, which Errol Spence is the star. It ain't Mikey Garcia. That being said, you stated Sean Porter is as big as Earl. Now, no, no, do you it, take it, anything back? You hold on, me. hold on. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Do you take anything back either from, uh, you know, saying that Errol Spence is just as big as Sean Porter? even though he's the star in this situation. And you stated that Mikey is bigger than both. And you stated that Mikey versus Pacquiao is bigger than Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao. Now, I not now, now, now Showtime is saying, or not Showtime, but PPC is saying basically if Manny fight Errol Spence, they predicting that's going to be a million buys. And I co-sign that. I believe so. I don't think if he fight Mikey, it will even be close to that. That being said, what's your take on that? Is you going to take anything back? Well, no, I I would never do that. But what do you mean? So, you you, you so stand to be it, incorrect. It. Well, no. So part of it, if, if if I said that Sean Porter is just as big, and then so that kind of justifies why those numbers would be there, but right? He, he's not though. Like now, you're yeah, trying I mean, to make we, excuses. We can say that, but we nah, but you so can't usually, say that. all right. So I'm a I'm a I'm a social scientist, and then so usually what we do if we want to. There's something um, that you call where it's like analysis of variance. And then what you can do is you get like R squared. And then that'll tell you like how much this factor um, um, kind of impacts the like the difference like in numbers or something like that. So the, what I'm saying is that we don't have that. So we don't know. We don't have what? How, so we don't have the opportunity to do a kind of a statistical analysis and understand how much of that pay-per-view is attributed to Sean Porter. Oh, now you sound like a real hater. Is now you attributed sound, to look, Errol Spence. Look, look, okay, I'm going to okay, explain it to you. I'm going to explain it to you. Ahead. Now, since you over here trying to confuse us, <laughs> Sean Porter, he never been on pay-per-view. Sean, Sean Porter never been on pay-per-view. Sean Porter never fought a fighter and... Uh, he has to fight a big name in order for it to be a big fight. His next fight, I promise you, it won't be on pay-per-view. Even if he... Sean Porter. Sean Porter. Mikey Garcia, if he don't fight Manny Pacquiao, his next fight won't, wouldn't be on pay-per-view. Errol Spence mm-hmm. is the guy. Like, like you taking credit away from Errol Spence. And that's why I feel like a lot of you, you received a lot of backlash when it comes to that. And I believe... It, it, <laughs> I believe it, it, some of it is not like... Uh, like some people was being reasonable, some people was being outlandish. Oh, it's, it's but, fine. But see, this is how. Got, look, th- this is like Errol Spence. Thick skin. Like this, no. But look at it. That's a myth that just because you Mexican, you automatically a star. That's not true. Because let me tell you something. Mm. Let me tell you something. Mikey Garcia, just like Oscar Valdez, just like Cruz, just like Mares. Who are these guys? These guys ain't superstars. On this only Canelo Alvarez that's Mexican and that's a star in the game today. Before him, it was Oscar De La Hoya. Before that, it was Chavez Sr. And that's it. There's all this myth. It, it is, but so hold on, hold on. But okay. let, let, let me answer your Finish question. Your I'm, we're gonna we gonna touch on that later. But let me respond to the fact that you say Errol is just as popular as Sean. First of all, that's absolutely not true. Errol Spence is the man. He the star. And the reason why is it's all started from Errol Spence from the Olympics. See. We talked really? about 
it started like Gennady Golovkin. He, he didn't on, medal in the Olymp- it, it, it don't matter. He, he the one. He the one that everyone talked about will go the farthest in the pro games. Now, first of all, Errol Spence, unlike Gennady Golovkin, Gennady Golovkin was hyped by the old media. Like Jim Lambley, never seen Gennady Golovkin fight before. He are already telling people, "Oh, this is the the best pound for pound." However, Errol Spence, he it was trainers coming out saying. Oh, this kid is finna be the best. Absolutely. Like Freddie Roach. He Absolutely. said that after Floyd and Errol, uh, and Manny Pacquiao retire, this dude finna take over the throne. Um, Floyd Mayweather co-signed him. We heard, you heard the rumors when Broner was supposedly the Floyd Mayweather at the time, the new Floyd. We heard, oh, somebody knocked out Broner's sparring. Who, who was that? And then a week later, oh, somebody not, gave Floyd Mayweather a black eye. Who was that? And then it was, oh, Errol Spence got thrown out there. And then... Errol Spence's name started building up. It was all this hype around Errol Spence. I didn't even know who the kid was. I'm like, who the hell is this? Mm-hmm. And then that's where it started from. Then Floyd Mayweather co-signed him. It was five years ago he was calling out Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, and Floyd Mayweather told these cats why he was next to Errol Spence. And I know this because Dante interviewed him. He was like, y'all could fight him on my undercard for a title. Don't y'all want a title? Nobody stepped up, right? Then Errol Spence was built as this boogeyman. Strap season, smoke season, all of that, right? That was building his brand. He fought Bundu, the guy who Keith Thurman couldn't knock out at the time. He knocked him out in front of, uh, I think, 6.5 million people was watching that fight. Mm. 6.5 million because of Al Heyman and his genius by putting that fight around the Olympic time or something like that. I forgot how he did so, but credit to Al. But if 10% of those views became fans, He's already famous, right? Then after that, he went to Kell Brook hometown in front of 30,000 people and knocked him out. That's some superstar shit. That's some legendary was, shit for was, a fighter. It was actually a, a TKO. But I'm, yeah, well, I'm he, being, he, I'm he, being. The, the, <laughs> Kell Brook quit. He didn't want no more of that smoke, right? It was getting too foggy. He couldn't see, right? He broke his other eye psychic. So he beat him in front of all these fans. And that was a big fight. After that, he demolished Lamar Pearson. After that, he fought Lil Campbell, an unknown fighter. I never heard of him. He was his number one mandatory, not, right? Not Lil Campbell. Campbell. Oh, yeah, Campbell. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Campbell. He fought him in front of 15,000 fans selling just like that, and nobody knew the kid, right? Then he fought Mikey Garcia in front of 47,000 fans selling how many tickets did he sell? He sold, I believe, uh, pay-per-view-wise, he sold 300 25 to 350 on pay-per-view that being said that building his brand and all this boogeyman keep in mind he was doing it in an impressive fashion then he fights sean porter and put on a classic fight now when you say he's just as popular as sean you taking that's why they calling you a hater because you're taking all the credit away wow. from errol because sean porter keep in mind his last fight when he fought ugas people thought ugas won they don't even believe in sean people the last fight when Ugas fought, when he fought Ugas, he couldn't even sell out in his own hometown. He couldn't even sell. I don't want to throw shade on Sean, but he couldn't sell. That's why Errol Spence told him, you can't even sell your family dinner. The only reason, <laughs> the only reason he was on pay-per-view is because of Errol Spence. That's why Errol Spence's next fight is about to be on pay-per-view. Not because of Danny Garcia. It's because of Errol Spence. It's credit to Errol Spence. It's Errol Spence, the star in the game. Manny Pacquiao fought Keith Thurman, and how much did he sell? 450000 on pay-per-view. Errol Spence fight Sean Porter, the guy who lost to Keith Thurman. Mm-hmm. How much did he sell? 350000 That's only 100000 south of Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao is a superstar in the game, right? Errol he's Spence su- he's is there with him. And he's, keep in mind... Er- I don't Errol know if he's Spence a superstar did, now. Er- Errol Spence, look, why is he, why is he not a superstar? Errol well, Spence, when my argument comes out to Yeah, you, yeah, right. okay. But listen, Errol Spence didn't have the luxury that... Man, uh, that, that Canelo had where he fought on Floyd Mayweather undercards, then fought a Floyd Mayweather. Errol Spence had to get out the mud out of hard work and dedication, and he still made it. And that's why people give you a hard time because you disagreeing with facts now. You're saying, oh, with well, facts. Sean, like you're saying Sean is as popular as Errol. We'll see. We'll see what Sean do, where he going to be. It's like Errol Spence told Sean, I'm a, what arena have you sold? Where your fight, where your next fight going to be? If it ain't. If it ain't against me, I promise you, it ain't on pay-per-view. It's going to be back on regular TV, and you ain't going to sell out the arena. And I agree with Errol Spence 100%. Errol Spence is the star, but 
get to what you about to say so I could counter that as well. You about to get this work. Thank you. Yeah, that's probably good talk. Thank you. (laughs) So I want to say that, right, so when we talk about stars and superstars, right, there's only probably, there's maybe a handful of superstars in boxing right now. Manny Pacquiao, Canelo, whatever. So a superstar, for example, and this is uh, an example that I got from a, um, I was reading an article, and it was about, it was, I think it was about actually football, but there was uh, this receiver, Plexico Burris, so he had went out to a club or did something, and the DJ had got on the mic, which is like, hey, everybody, Plexico Burris is in the house, da, 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 and you do that, so basically had to announce the guy's presence there, right? So a superstar, you don't have to announce their presence, right? Just their presence alone will necessarily shut down that spot. You don't have to, and he gave an example like, I think it was Deion Sanders, who was a, an actual, who was a superstar in there. So a superstar is somebody who is able to transcend the sport where it goes beyond just the diehard fans in there. So Errol Spence is definitely a star in the game. He's one of the top pound-for-pound pound fighters. He's one of the most technical fighters, one of the most gifted fighters. And actually, to me, he's, he's very humble. Well, now, he, he has been a little bit lately kind of coming out and talking some trash. I think part of that is... Coming out of his shoe. Um, yeah, that, and, and it's, a, it's kind of an, a, a marketing employee to be able to get more people interested in, into the fights. So my argument when you asked me that question, and I was trying to be, I was trying to be thoughtful in, in answering that, was that Sean Porter is known because he has fought Adrian Broner, he has fought Danny Garcia, he has fought Keith Thurman, he's fought Devin Alexander. So he's a who's who. So when you think you about sound boxing, like a, they sound like a cape, uh, 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 a cape ge- keeper. Because well, gatekeeper. Yeah. So, gatekeeper. well, no, I, I think that he's. But out of, out of those people, he's you know he's beat at least half of those guys that I that I've named. Now, Keith Thurman. Oh, be skip. Not Keith Thurman, but Errol Spence is working his way up the chain. And as I said before, I believe he's gonna fight all of his pay per views fights from from then on out. But so. It, but fights, when it comes to selling those fights, there's a lot of things that have to go into it to make sure that they coalesce and you get those numbers. So, for example, Canelo, when he fought Triple G his last time, I think so, one point, well, close to 1.2 million. Right? The last time that Floyd Mayweather fought. Did he? Um, yeah, it, it was something like that because I, I was looking I, I at the last. Sold like more the, than I think. I think it sold less than the first fight, though. It may have, but it it it, it's, but, it's, but yeah. it sold over. It sold over a million. But with Floyd Mayweather fought his last fight um, under his his contract. I'm not talking about the the the, the farce of a fight, but with uh, McGregor, he sold less than a million. Right, he what, what? what? What did he sell against Berto? Oh, yeah. 550. 550,000. Now, we would never say that Canelo is more popular than Floyd Mayweather, but what happened was all of the ingredients were ripe to like make sure that that fight was going to sell more because people are really not that interested in seeing him fight Berto. That, that was kind of a throwaway fight just to, I have one more fight on yeah, my contract I to be able to do that. So that's why I was I was trying to be honest and so you, th- th- there may be and then we, so hold on, hold I want to hear from the, the people also if okay. you think that Errol Spence, and I'm, I'm not saying who's the, the better fighter, who's this, if, if you think that he's more popular, we're just talking about popularity than, than, um, than Sean Porter. Then I will acknowledge that I, so, I'm so still. I'm I'm over here. I'm about to make it acknowledge it. So let's get to it. So you said, you said that you basically proved my point. I proved you said point. you I'm, proved my I'm point. Sure you said I didn't. the reason Canelo versus Gennady Golovkin sold more than Floyd Mayweather fight, and we know Floyd is the biggest star because when he fought Pacquiao, he did 4.6 million views, uh, pay per view buys, is because it, it has to do with your opponent, right? Because well, yeah, it has, it has to be the ingredients, has to be the right Obviously, weekend. Gennady the right Golovkin, that's what I'm saying. This, this, uh, Gennady Golovkin was a hype fighter, like we talked about earlier, and Canelo exposed that. So they used that, and that's why that fight was big. But Berto was 
Floyd Mayweather retirement fight. He was like, you know, I'm just going to walk to the sunset and, and, and retire, right? Canelo, I mean, Errol Spence, keep in mind, people don't want to see, people didn't want to see Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. People want to see Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. People want to see Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao. So these yeah. fights will sell a, pay, a, a million pay-per-view possibly. Possibly. Him versus Manny Pacquiao is a, is a million pay-per-view buy. So he's just as popular as Canelo in that situation because who, who, if he no, fight what? If he fight a, a, a Terrence Crawford, we all know Errol Spence is the biggest star of the two, right? You think that's going to sell a million? I think hell yeah, the way it's hyped up. Hell yeah, that shit going that that's our Hearns versus Leonard, that's our hat. This is a, this is a legacy fight, the fight of the decade. They will promote the shit out of that fight. That's like our Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, not up to the scale as, as far as popularity, but they will promote it where it's gonna be a million pay per view buys at least. That being said, I know him versus Manny Pacquiao will at least crack a million. So my that point is that has a chance. I, my, I don't think Crawford is, will. Who is okay? So my, it proves my point. Nobody wanted to see the Sean Porter fight. It was just stay busy fight and the name fight. Nobody that, what? No, that was a, that was a, a good is, fight. It was a good fight, but before that, they thought Errol Spence was gonna walk through his ass. They never thought Errol Spence was gonna. Everybody want to see Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford. They just know that this is just like. A, a walk in the park. They thought it was going to be a walk in the park. It didn't turn out to be. It turned out to be a fight in the park. But they thought Sean Porter was just another stepping stone. Give me your belt and let me, you know, let, give me your strap before I take my strap and shoot you and let me go on and fight Terrence Crawford. So my point is this. Since you say Errol Spence is not a superstar, he's not, I, I don't think uh, he he's is. not a superstar. He's a star. However, is. who is, name me the superstars in boxing today. Name me the top three superstars, superstars. in boxing today. Yeah. Canelo um, Alvarez. Okay, Canelo. Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. And Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. All right, we about to dissect every single one. So let me see these superstars in the sport of boxing. So Canelo Alvarez, his last fight was a unification bout against um, Daniel Jacob, right? That fight did 600,000 views on the zone in the U.S. So if that's true, right, and that's a fact, that's how much they did, 600,000 views in the U.S., right? And that's a unification bout. And you know how much it cost to sign up for the zone at the time? $10. And you know how much Errol Spence versus Sean Porter fight cost? $75. You know how much pay-per-views they sold? $350,000. That's, that's more than half what Canelo did against Jacob. So... If he did that, he brought more revenue for that fight than Canelo did for the zone when he fought Jacob. That make him a superstar in the game. It if you saying, if you saying, if you saying Canelo is a superstar, Errol Spence is, the, is a superstar. If you saying Manny Pacquiao is a superstar, and his last fight he fought Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman beat Sean Porter, was undefeated, was the last unified champion before Errol Spence became the the, the other weekend. He fought Keith Thurman, did four hundred fifty thousand. Errol Spence fought Sean more. for four hundred exactly a hundred thousand more, and he's such a big, he's such a superstar though, right? He's a superstar. Nobody's cracking a million if, though. If, if, look, if, Man, if Manny Pacquiao come and walk down the street, what not? He's gonna be matter. rushed. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm talking that's about a, him today. That's a superstar. People don't care about okay, Fifty Cent for example, my favorite rapper of all time. They don't care about what he did ten years ago. They talking about who relevant today. What you did for me lately? That's the the life of hip hop and boxing. Is they don't care if you if 50 drop an album today, he's not gonna sell 10 million copies like he did for Get Rich or Die Trying. He's gonna sell probably like what a hundred thousand first week, maybe after that. Like he won't crack a million at the end of the day. I hope he do. I will buy it. But my mm -hmm. what I'm saying is he's no longer 50. relevant, but he's still 50 cent. But at the end of the day, is what you do for me lately. Manny Pacquiao last fight was against a big name, and he fought Broner before that. He did not crack over 450 thousand pay-per-view buys and Errol Spence last two pay-per-views rivaled ri rivals Manny Pacquiao with only a hundred thousand south of that that being said Manny Pacquiao is such a superstar though so Errol mm -hmm. Spence is a superstar too um um what's his name Anthony Joshua when he fought Andrew Ruiz he didn't even sell out the arena in, in New York City Errol Spence fight in New York City he sells it out almost 
They have um, to get um, they, they had to you, get you, tickets. That, they that, had to get tickets. That was a qualifier. You can't but say it sells it out almost. I'm saying I'm not sure if he sold it out or not. So I can't say, oh, he sold it out. So I gotta be specific with my numbers. But I know he sold more than what um Anthony Joshua did. Even though Anthony Joshua, I agree, he, he's a star, a star in the game. I believe Deontay Wilder is a bigger star than Anthony Joshua because Deontay Wilder, according to ESPN list, he's the most popular boxer in the world, ranked at number 32 or 30 something, 30 something as far as the most, athletes. Yeah, athletes in the world. And Deontay Wilder is, is higher than Anthony Joshua. Exactly. Anthony Joshua is ranked number 63. Anthony Joshua just have the UK behind him. So what I'm saying is. This is that facts. Was, that, not, was, that was a bogus that's, thing. This is facts. Anthony Joshua, only famous in the UK. Ain't nobody know his ass outside of the UK. So what I'm saying is he's not a global star. He can't even beat Andrew Ruiz in the US. He's a continent champion because he, he, he can't he sold, a, he sold a million pay-per-views against Klitschko. Yeah, the pay-per-views, you know how much they cost? $20. Over here, they cost $75. You got to put that in consideration. Uh, uh, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury sold 300 pay-per-views in the U.S. and 700,000. Really? And se yeah, Google it. Google that shit. That's what Deontay Wilder told um, Radio Raheem. Google that shit. <laughs> so he Deontay sold, Wilder he, he sold 325. Exactly in the U.S. And you know how much he sold in the U.K.? 700,000. So if you add him up, that's a million pay-per-view buys. So it yeah, proves. That's, that's, that's not how you. I, that's how you do it. You just said, uh, and you you, you, you just said Anthony Joshua versus Klitschko sold a million pay per view. So pay -per -view how, 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 how come, no, no, no. come Wilder's never been credited with selling a million pay per views? Hold on, why didn't didn't you just say Anthony Joshua versus Klitschko sold a million pay per views? I mean, that's what they. I I, I think that's U.S. because it, no, it no, didn't no, say no, that. No, 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 no. That was U.K. The U. It might have been U.K. But what I'm the, saying the is the U.S. That, I watched it for so, free on Showtime. Hold so, on. But, but the like, U.S. But I watched it for free on that, Showtime. That may be true, but like, why would they give? Anthony Joshua credit for selling a million, but not Wilder. Like, why did you think they're hating on him? Hell yeah, they hate, they've been hating on Deontay Wilder for the longest. Anthony Joshua turns down a fifty million dollar guarantee plus 50 50 split and a rematch. He said no, and they put the blame on Deontay Wilder. Anthony Joshua sent Deontay Wilder a fifty million dollar offer, and Wilder signed it, and they fought Povetkin instead, a drug cheat. So hell yeah, they covering up for that. So I'm saying is Deontay Wilder, they're not giving Deontay Wilder the credit he do. He he do, but at the end of the day, he earned his credit. He, that's not my list. That's ESPN list. Because every time Deontay Wilder knocks somebody out, it becomes a meme. I just well, I'm news. saying like I looked at a list of the top pay per views and Well, I, I, I just told you in the UK the pay per view cost twenty dollars. He did a million, I don't doubt it. But with Wilder and versus Tyson Fury, that did seven hundred thousand in, in the UK. But in the U.S., it did three hundred and twenty-five thousand, and it's seventy-five dollars. That's why the U.S. matter because money comes in from the U.S. Tickets cost more. When when AJ se sells out a big arena, the tickets cost like what, twenty euros or whatever it is. Over here, the front seat tickets. You know how much they be costing? They be costing bread. Mm -hmm. the, when 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 Floyd Mayweather fought Manny Pacquiao. The front seats was like two hundred fifty thousand. Some of them were three hundred thousand. You see the difference. That's why the money is in the U.S. That's why Floyd Mayweather. That's why Deontay Wilder was guaranteeing AJ fifty million dollar guarantee plus pay per view because the money. If he fight him in the U.S., money will flow in. However, in a big arena, it looks good, but the tickets are, are cheap. And just for your information, AJ, they've been they've been giving out tickets for the longest for like free. For fans to make it seem like they sold out, but like I said, it proves my point. If Errol Spence, it doesn't prove your point. What doesn't prove my point? If Errol Spence, then is Manny Pacquiao a superstar? Manny Pacquiao is a superstar. Is, is Canelo a superstar? Canelo, that's my list. Yeah, is, Canelo is, is, is um, AJ a superstar? He is. So how come you say Pacquiao a superstar, Canelo a superstar, and Errol Spence does just as much without fighting the fight that we want to see? Fighting Sean Porter, he ain't fight. He ain't fight Terence Crawford. He didn't fight Manny. Pacquiao. You've never quoted him doing just as much. You, you, you always said like he was close to it. You've never quoted him doing just as much. Thousand is almost as much as four hundred. But it's not as much though. It's almost so as much. Thousand make you a superstar. What I'm saying is like his 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 his, his 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 track record. His track record. It it it. 
it, it depends on who you fought. Is exactly I gave you the example of when Floyd Mayweather fought his last fight. Even though Canelo did more than him against uh, Triple G, it doesn't mean that he's more popular you're than him. Case with that because Errol Spence did not fight Terence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. He fought Sean Porter. That, fight that was a unification bout. Sean Porter works for uh, PBC oh, and Fox and does that. He's done. He he went on Sway in the morning. He went on Breakfast Club. He did a lot of promoting. I promoted that fight more than Sway did, and Sway's my guy. But I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying is this: you're not being fair to Errol Spence. The reason why listen, I'm being objective. You're not being objective because Sean Porter. That fight should have been on regular TV. People was complaining about it. I report on this, so I know. People was complaining about Errol Spence and Sean Porter being on pay per view. Why? Was why was that? We're not gonna watch the fight and pay all this money because. At the end of the day, why are we going to pay all this money when, when this fight should be on, on regular TV? Because Sean Porter was coming off a loss to Uga. He didn't. It, 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 was, it, it wasn't it was in the record. You so got to. keep saying. No, 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 no. Hold on. You keep saying Sean Porter this and that. People thought he lost to Ugas leading up to the He Aaron didn't. He got credit. He, he had a title. It was almost a split decision. It was, it was, it was, it, it, it was, a, it was a unification what was title. A, forget that. I'm talking about Sean Porter when he fought Ugas. People thought he lost that fight. So, so it, it doesn't matter if it's split decision. Shout out to the to the show. Split decision. What I'm saying is, Errol Spence fight Sean Porter, who's not a big name. He's a good fighter, respectable opponent only in the boxing community. And he sells 350000 Manny Pacquiao fights a Keith Thurman, who's a bigger star than a Sean Porter and beat a Sean Porter. Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman only does 100000 more than Errol Spence. So Errol Spence proved that he carried that card alone. And he almost did Alone. as much as Manny Pacquiao. That being said, Manny, if Manny is a star or a superstar today, Errol Spence is a superstar as well. And he proved it with these numbers back to back, doing great numbers. And you're not giving great numbers. And you're not giving. Come on, like, numbers. like. That's why they call let's be hate. honest. Let's That's be honest. Three three hundred and fifty thousand does not make a superstar. Name me a and fighter this, uh, that does a million pay per view buys this year. Name me a fighter that did a million. Name me a fighter. Yeah. A superstar. That, uh, That's going to. Year, yeah, he did. Okay. Canelo fought this year, did he? He did. Okay. They Canelo and they, and they both did, years. and they both did more than than Errol Spence. Did, did, did I didn't say a million. million. I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I'm saying three hundred and fifty thousand. I mean, three hundred fifty thousand does not make a superstar in there. I mean, that's that's just my argument. That's just my error. There. He he didn't do three hundred fifty thousand. He did with, with Adrian Broner. He did over five hundred thousand. What, what did he do? He did four hundred thousand. Okay. Well, that's more. He, he didn't do. I'd say he didn't do three hundred fifty thousand. So, so he does. So he does fifty thousand more than Errol Spence. <laughs> and he's a superstar. Do you see? Do you see what I'm coming from? No, listen. Do you want to take anything back? No. No. Because listen. Don't get the smoke from the, from the comment section. <laughs> I want to hear them. I want to hear them. But I, I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually think that. I just like listen. I, I I can have my own opinion on the fact. I think he's working his way up, but a superstar superstar has uh, crazy endorsements. You're gonna see them in commercials. You're gonna do this. They transcend the sport. I'm just saying he's not there yet. Like let's yeah, let him do that. He's on the way. But he's on the he's way. On the exactly. Way, and he didn't get help like Canelo did. But I'm saying if Manny is a superstar, Manny is clearly a superstar. Okay, like if he's a superstar and he can't. Stand if you more than if you just a if you are like a, a, a one name, if somebody, if you just say Manny and everybody knows who you are talking about, he is clearly a superstar. Now like, are we not, are we not, are we, are we really that. having that argument of Manny Pacquiao being a superstar? Well, are, are, we, are we really having that argument? He sold, he sold more than, sell. I'll look it up, but look he. It up. He, he, he sold, one thing I know, he sold more than Errol Spence. 50,000 more than Errol Spence. He, it makes him a superstar, but it don't make Errol Spence a superstar. Who's He's the not name? there yet. He's who, not there. Who's He's the bigger there, name, yeah. Broner or Sean Porter? Broner. Exactly. And, Errol Sp and, and Manny Pacquiao only did 50,000 more than Errol Spence fighting a Broner, a, a bigger name than Sean Porter. And Errol Spence fights to Sean Porter and does only 50,000 less. So... That proved my point. You just proved my point that Errol Spence is a superstar. So I took you to the Aki University. Really? I, I think that I, you, I think you seem a little. I'm but you know what? With I'm that said, we should, we, we, we should probably. I am. I just gave him his credit. I just said that he's not there yet. So 
I'd say, say that. Why, why you say Errol, why you say Manny Pacquiao is a superstar today, but you say Errol Spence is not? Because he he he. He, he he doesn't transcend the sport just yet. I, I think a lot of people, this is a 40-year-old Pacquiao. People didn't think he was in his prime. He was doing that. So he's you 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 you're not you're not gonna be the you're not gonna be the same draw throughout your whole career. But that doesn't take away that 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 doesn't take away from his thing. Hold on, hold on. To prove you wrong, he was the favorite coming to the fight. People was betting on Manny Pacquiao to beat Keith Thurman. That he was the favorite to win the fight. And according to Las Vegas, the betting odds and all that, right? He's still not so the same fighter because you know, because he, the same fighter, but he was a favorite because Keith Thurman looked trash again in his last Keith fight Thurman against Ho Ho Cito Lopez. No, he, yeah, and he had been out for two years but or whatnot, and then comeback, and right? then he almost got beat up by the Riverside Rocky. So who talk more trash, Keith Thurman? Or Sean Porter leading up to the fight. Promoting the fight. Keith Thurman did. Exactly. And how much they sold? 450000 My point, exactly. Now you're not going to admit you're wrong, <laughs> but you say, uh, Louis, you're going to read the comment section. I, I am. Comment. Uh, comment. I'm just saying, hey, you're going to get a storm coming at you. I'm Bring it on. I Will, you see that? I want all the let's smoke. Switch it, let's switch it up now. Um, oh, no, no. Ho hold on. What about the, the myth that, that all these Hispanic fighters, oh, just because you're Mexican, you were a superstar in the game? I, 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 didn't, I never said you that. You said Mikey Garcia, last time you said Mikey is this famous fighter because, oh, he, because the Mexican people are behind him. Well, I why, did say why, that. Why the Mexican, Mexican-American. So why Oscar, uh, Oscar Valdez and, and Cruz and, and, and all these other Mexican fighters like Benavidez, how come the Mexican fan following ain't behind him, supporting them? And, and they superstars in the game. It has to be with who you fight, who your promoter is. But to give you an example, at the height of his career, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya well, was... Oscar was a superstar. I ain't talking about Oscar. Yeah. But it's so far in between. Like, I'm talking about like Canelo now, Oscar then, and Chavez Sr. That's about it. But if you're talking about... There's so many champions. There's so many champions from Mexico. None of them are star. They're like regular champions. Like, we could say the same thing about uh, black American fighters. We got Floyd Mayweather. We got Errol Spence today carrying the throne. We got Deontay Wilder, who probably could be a, a superstar. And we got, we got back in the day, before Floyd Mayweather came to the table, we got Tyson. We had uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. We had Muhammad Ali. Ain't nobody bigger than Muhammad Ali, period. I'm talking yeah. about... I'm That's about, true. As far as anybody, I'm talking about when it comes to sports, when it comes to uh, a singer, rapper, whatever. Muhammad Ali, the most famous person probably of all time. So probably Muhammad Ali was what he black, Floyd black, Sugar Ray Leonard, well, or Ali was mixed, I believe. But no, nah, he was black. He was black. Yeah, but he was he black. Was, he was in half something. Mm. Oh. Anyways, but it don't matter. He got black in him. That's my point. Floyd, Sugar Ray Leonard, all these fighters. Mike Tyson. They, yeah, why then this a myth? Oh, well, black fighters always sell. <laughs> because I mean, because at the end of the day, the biggest star in the boxing and the more the most dominant fighters in the past, in the history are black. Including yeah, I mean, I've, all them guys. I've so never, that? I've never had that argument about that. I, I I was just saying that Mexican fans and Mexican American fans are very passionate about their about their heroes or what that. A lot of times they don't have fighters who necessarily measure i mean but they do there i mean there, there's a, a storied history with them um and then we, we we have had some superstars when it when it when it comes um mike tyson but mike tyson was the superstar like he started the boxing game phenomena and all those he was just no i'm talking about like video games video games oh, weren't yeah, out there no, I didn't know that. No, I didn't yeah yeah some with mike tyson knockout that was the so 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 i since you say that Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao approximately sells a million according to PBC. Um, Mikey Garcia versus Manny Pacquiao, if they fight next, I believe they will, it will flop. You still stick by your guns and say that uh, it's a bigger fight than an Errol Spence versus, uh, versus well, Manny Pacquiao. I, 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 did, I, did, I didn't say it was going bigger. I, 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 I said it was going to sell more. Uh, like, bigger fight means that no, no, no. As far as his as far as his impact on the boxing game and stuff, I I am gonna stick by my guns.
Man, is Mikey Garcia paying you? Because I need half of the budget. No, I'm just what? saying. I'm like, how is Mikey coming off the biggest ass whooping? <laughs> and, and Mikey don't have nothing to bring to the table. Meanwhile, Errol Smith's a unified champion coming off a classic win and selling 350000 back to back. And he sold more than the Mikey Garcia fight, fighting a Sean Porter, a lesser name. And he proved he had a bigger star than a, 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 than a, than a Mikey Garcia. So how is you saying he's going to do more? Well, what are you going based on what? I'm just... Listen, I I have I have a theory about the support that a Mexican that's, Mexican American exactly fighter would what get. That that's it's, it's a theory. How come Cruz don't have that support? How come Mars don't have that support? How come Mikey just have that support and it's not shown? Because his previous fights, he ain't been selling like that. Him him versus Adrian Broner, a big name, only did nine hundred and fifty thousand on Showtime, and that was free. So mm -hmm. if you're saying well, that's what I'm talking about, the myth that I keep bringing up, what myth are you talking about? If Errol Spence sold more than the Mikey Garcia fight against Sean Porter, the lesser name. If he sold more against Sean Porter, doesn't make Errol Spence the biggest star. What, 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 what do you mean, sold more, sold more against between Mikey and Errol Spence? Errol Spence sold more pay per view against Sean Porter than he did against Mikey Garcia. Well, I, 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 I told you one. It was a it was a unification bout, um, and I, I think that. Sean Porter did uh, a really good job as as far as putting that fight out there. He was, but he was, but he 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 had a belt, and he was coming with it. The, the Mikey was almost kind of a novelty fight. Mikey was trying to make history. He was, but but it was a novelty. He was. He 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 he's still a pound for pound fighter. My point is, he ain't on that top three no more. He dropped top ten. So my point is, Mikey tried to be great. It was a big story, and he said he gonna do it. He failed, and Errol Spence sold more than more pay per views against a, a lesser name, which is Sean Porter, than he did with Mikey, proving that he the star in the equation, proving that he the he a bigger star than Mikey because he the one that carried the pay per view. So you still stick by the guns and say, some way somehow. <laughs> a gonna happen, and the pay per view by between Manny Pacquiao and, and Mikey Garcia for the B I think so. One is that I don't think Manny Pacquiao is gonna get. Uh, I don't think Errol Spence is gonna get the Manny Pacquiao fight. If he does, I'm not saying. I'm saying it is, but I, nah, I I just don't see how we're we're ever gonna be able to settle that. I'm asking is you in, in in my opinion, yeah, I'm 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 sticking with my opinion. I I I think that against a superstar like Manny Pacquiao. I think that when you when with with Mikey Garcia, they're gonna they're gonna think that that fight is more on even plane com, com, compared that the the boxing public, the pundits, the Mexican Americans, the Mexicans. That, that's delusional because if you read my comment section every time I make Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao, all these Pacquiao fans saying Errol Spence gonna get smoked by Pacquiao, so they gonna ride for their guy, right or wrong. Either. No, no. But my point is this. That wasn't my that wasn't my analogy. I, I was saying that compared to when Mikey Garcia fought Errol Spence, they're gonna think that Mikey no Garcia. Listen, listen, my point. They're gonna think that uh, Mikey Garcia versus Manny Pacquiao is a fight that's a little bit more on even terms. Because I I I can't think. Well, besides Sugar Ray Leonard, and I don't know what he was thinking about. I I really can't think anybody think of anybody who gave Mikey Garcia a real chance in that fight. But it's people, not like but Ray Leonard by saying that my no, this is not the biggest star of the two. This I don't listen. That's just my opinion. Can I can I just have my opinion? You have an opinion, but you can I just have it? That I listen. I I just I I gave Mikey Garcia ha, has only had one pay per view fight, but he's that's to to me he did, but he he, he that's a he didn't even show he didn't even go for broke. So people, Mexican fans can't be like me. He went Mexican style. The dude tried to survive and failed at it. And then, like I said, I give him credit for stepping up to the plate, but he stepped up for the money because Errol was the biggest name and Errol proved it against Sean Porter selling more pay-per-view buys than Mikey Garcia, proving that he was the star in the equation, proving that even when he fought a lesser name, which is Sean Porter coming off a bad performance, he still sold more. So I don't know if you can't see what I'm coming from, then... I don't know, like. Wait, hey, we like, just—it's a—it's a—it's a, it's a split like, decision. You have this myth about Mexican fighters, and I was just explaining <laughs> to you that 
Black fighters have the same thing going on. Now, check out Split Decision every Monday. We will host it and drop it every Monday at noon. Absolutely. Be on the lookout see, for the cookout. It, it, it I gets, just took Professor Nint to school today. No. Hey. <laughs> We'll let y'all be the the, the 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 decider of that. Also, I want to say, hey, let's let's get the um s subscriptions up, man. Yes, so we want to click on the notification bell so Absolutely. you can get notified every time we go live. And when we go live, and when we go live, y'all gonna comment live who winning the arguments. And I want y'all to drop in the comment section who y'all yeah. think was right, Aki or Professor Nim. Uh, thank you, Professor Nim. It was a great show today, even though we disagreed and. You know, it's all right because, you know, we, you will graduate soon. You are going <laughs> to agree with me soon enough. So that being said, any last comment, any thoughts you want to say and let it, let, lay it out before we end the show? Now hit us up in the comments. And like I say, we want all the smoke. So express you. But um, come with some, some substantive arguments and yeah. stuff. But the, so, the, like, what I main thing is, you disagree with Professor Nim. I know y'all do today, especially after what I did. Nah, nah, so, I'm, come at him I'm with good. facts. Bring up, like, say, like, bring up something he said and come at him with facts. Like, stop being all, like, I don't like when people talk trash, you know. No, nah, they and, can talk. And, no, 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 no. Listen, all comments are good comments. No, I'm saying, I'm there. saying, like, but I'm I don't saying just like, add to it. Like just add to it. Talk. Like, you know, I don't mind it. You could have negative talk. Okay, he don't mind it, but Man, what, but, bring, but it. bring up a point. That's what he's saying. He wanted, yeah, yeah. He wanted well, to well, disagree. Well, well, we could I, yeah. agree to disagree. But, yeah. but at the end of the day, like me, how I'm doing, how I'm bringing up points, how I'm countering the thing he say, I'm out here looking like Floyd. I'm out here looking like Pretty Boy Floyd the way I'm countering him, Professor Nim. He out here looking like Sean Porter swinging wild and shit like a I'm football look, player. <laughs> I'm looking like Roy Jones in this no, nah, he looking like Roy Jones after he got knocked <laughs> out. <laughs> Professor Nim looking like the day. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, thank you, Professor Nim. All right, it's a pleasure. And we had a great time, and it's all love and peace at the end of the day. Salam alaikum to all my Akis out there and all my sisters, and peace. I see, shut I see. Yeah. Let go. Hey.